All right, in this video, I'm gonna cover a couple of issues of why you might not be able to connect to a Minecraft server. And then after that, I'm going to go through a few issues on somebody that might be hosting a server on what they can do if their friends can't connect. So if you're trying to connect to your friend's server, the beginning part of the video is for you. Um, if you click Minecraft server multiplayer here, um, and it comes up and it says you can't connect, It's it's got a uh, red here. You double click it and it says fail to connect to the server, outdated server, I'm still on 1.15.2. You're going to write down that number, that's the version that your friend's server is that you're trying to connect to, or that's the uh, version of server you're trying to connect to. That's important. Um, we'll go back to the server list. We're going to close this out, and you're going to relaunch Minecraft. When you launch Minecraft, it's going to default to the latest release. In this case, it's 1.16.2. Whatever server you're trying to connect to needs to be the one that's selected down here. So I'm trying to connect to 1.15.2. That was the one that came up on mine. It's not in the options. So we go up here to installations, click new, then we go down and we find 1.15.2. Here it is. Then we can type friend server. Then we click create. And we click play, go down here, select friend server, then push play. Then you're going to click on multiplayer and now I'm able to connect. There's a couple other things that could. If it still doesn't work, you have the correct Minecraft version and it's the correct server, but it's still not connecting, there's another issue that could be. And that could be that the IP address and port number that you have is incorrect. So what you'll do is you'll ask your friend, whoever's hosting the server, for their most current IP address and make sure you have the correct port number for it. Down here and you'll click on the server and then you'll click edit. And then you'll go up here to the server address. What you'll do is you'll ask your friend for the most recent IP address. They can do that by going to Google and then asking on their computer what the current IP address is. And so let's take a look here. You go to Google, what's my IP address? And this number right here you need followed by the port number. So we'll type in that number here. And then the two little dots and then the port number. We'll then click done. Then we'll go down here and click refresh and you'll see it came up. You can double click it and go right into the game. All right, if you're hosting a Minecraft server and your friends can't connect to your server, there's a couple things you're gonna do. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna go up here to the, when you open up your server, you wanna look at the version number. All right, you wanna make sure that your friends are trying to connect with the correct version number. So in this case, 1.15.2. The other thing you wanna make sure is that you have the correct port number. So whichever port number you have, you wanna make sure your friends are using that port number. You also wanna look up the most current IP address um, that you have. So you go to Google and you'll type in, what's my IP address? It will give your IP address. Your IP address needs to be numbers. If your IP address contains letters, hang tight. At the end of this, I'll show you how to fix the IP address. So you'll give your friends this IP address. It's all numbers. And then they'll put the two dots and then they'll put this port number in. Okay. And that's what they'll use when trying to connect to Minecraft. If that's not working, a couple of things have happened. Your computer's IP address may have changed. Again, you just go to Google and get the new one. Um, and then they may be running a different version, so they'll have to select the correct version, like I said earlier in the video. Um, but there's a couple more things. So what you're gonna do is you're going to right click on the start button and click on PowerShell. Then it doesn't matter what it says on the screen, you're just gonna type in IP config, IP C O N F I G, all one word, and then press enter. This is gonna be your local IP address. We need the local IP address and the default gateway. And you're going to open up a browser and you're going to type in this default gateway, 192.168.1.1 in this case. And then when you get to your router, you're going to log in with your username and password. Your username and password for your router is most likely going to be the word admin, A-D-M-I-N, and the password is most likely going to be the same thing, admin, A-D-M-I-N. Sometimes the password is password, sometimes you've changed the password, if you know it, that's great, and also sometimes it is written on the bottom of the router. If you have Comcast or Xfinity, something like that in the United States, you may have to go to a web page on Comcast to update the router settings. Some of those are handled remotely. But the, main, the most important thing is you just need to get to your single port forwarding. If you've had your Minecraft server working in the past with friends outside your house, you've done this um, step most likely, but it, something may have changed. So you'll go to your, your 
your port forwards. If you've already created one, you'll just go and you'll go, okay, to the port that I'm using, 2556, and you'll just make sure that that one, in this case, that the device IP is the same as the local IP address, which is the IPv4 address up here. Okay, so sometimes your local IP address changes as well. All right, there are ways to stop your local IP address and your public IP address from changing. I'm not going to go over that in this video. That can be another video. If you go look at my uh, videos, you can find a video on how to stop your IP addresses from changing. But they will change periodically um, if, in most people's case, unless you do something to stop it. So you need to make sure that this number matches the port number that you're using for your server. So if you don't have anything in here, all you got to do is create a new single port forward. You can call it whatever you want. And if some some routers won't allow you to, um, they, they'll just have you type in, or they won't allow a range. You'll have to type in each one individually. So you may only have one box here. You may have two boxes here. That's fine. Some of them will let you check TCP, UDP, or both. You want to do both if you have that option. If not, then you'll do this twice with the same same number. Um, yeah, you'll do it both, one for, once for TCP and once for UDP. Um, and 105. And on a Linksys router, if you have this kind of setup, you'll have to click Save, and then you'll have to click Apply, and it'll apply it, and it'll restart the router. Um, sometimes it'll restart it. Sometimes it'll just save it. That's the first step. The next thing you need to do is go down here, and we need to type in Allow an app through Windows Firewall. Click right here on Change Settings. Scroll down to you see Java Platform SE Binary. You need to make sure both are checked. If you can't check these, you got to click the Change Settings button up here. Make sure both are checked and then push OK on all of them, however many you have. You may have one, you may have six, you may have ten. I have quite a few. Just both public and private must be checked. All right. It also could be that you have an outdated version of Java in which case you can go download the most recent version of Java just by going to Google and type Java download and it'll allow you to download the most recent version. Once you download Java and you install Java, you'll need to go back and do that step again, allow an app through the firewall and make sure that both public and private are selected for the SE binary. Um, the next thing we're going to do is Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. You're going to open that up. You're going to click on Inbound Rules, Action, New Rule, click Port, Next. This is going to be the port number, the port number of your server. In this case, 25556. And you're going to click Next, Next, Next. And then we're going to type in TCP Minecraft. Finish. And then you're going to click Action, New Rule. We're going to do, do it again. But this time we're going to type it, click the UDP option. Next, next, next. UDP mine craft. All right. That should have done it. That Between all of those, that's getting your public IP address off to Google, giving that to your friends with the colon and the port number, um, checking to make sure that your local IP address, which may have changed as well, is got the correct port forward set up so that the port is open to your most current local IP address. Um, and then we've allowed Java to operate through your firewall. Um, and then we've allowed those ports to operate through your firewall in those settings. Um, that's about the only thing I can think of that could stop people from connecting to your server. It's most likely something at the beginning where they're running an outdated version of Minecraft or it's that your IP address has changed. I will be posting a video on my page to explain how to stop your IP addresses from changing. Um, sometimes it's just the setting in your router and your public IP address, it's a little more complicated, um, but that's gonna happen. If your IP address contained letters, at the beginning of this video I said if your IP address contained letters and it wasn't just all numbers, that needs to change. That means that you have a IPv6 address and so we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix that right now. So you go to Control Panel, and then you can change the view to Category, Large Icon View, whatever view you need. And then you need to go to Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, 
change adapter settings. Find out which adapter you're connected to. I'm connected right down here to Internet 5, so that's going to be this one right here. And then I'm going to right click on it, click properties. And you're going to go down here to Internet Protocol version 4, that one needs to be checked, and Internet Protocol version 6 needs to be unchecked. If 6 is checked, your IP address may show up with letters in it, and that won't work with Minecraft, not yet. Um, if it's just, if 4 and 6 are checked, just un uncheck 6. 6 needs to be unchecked for the Minecraft server to work, and this is only on the people that are hosting the server. So just make sure that's unchecked. When you click OK, it's going to restart your adapter, so you may briefly use inter Internet for just a minute. Um, but it'll automatically reconnect very quickly. Um, I think that's going to do it. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. Also, if you can subscribe, I need a 1,000 subscribers. I'm almost there. And that's it. Thank you.